like, cat on your back porch. Yeah, he's always like, Shit. okay, ready? <laughs> Today we are sharing a super simple, fast recipe with you, German pancakes. I make these for my kids all the time. They absolutely love them. And it's seriously four ingredients. Like it's crazy easy. These guys have been wanting to know how to make them. So that's what we're doing today. Yeah. Isn't this like a Moffat family recipe? No. Swedish pancakes oh, are like a Moffat pancakes. family thing, okay. but this is kind of like a me and Cody started doing this. Okay. Okay. Okay, so first you will need six eggs, a cup of flour, a cup of milk, and a quarter cup of butter. Very first step, you just put your cube of butter in a nine by 13 dish. That was super high tech. I can't believe I can do that myself. Then you're gonna put this in the oven, preheat it to 350, and you're gonna set it in there while it preheats so it melts the butter. That's okay. cool. Step one. So step one, preheat this, stick it in there. Shoot, I have a dirty pan in here. Okay, so some of the recipes do call for like a quarter cup of sugar in this. I don't put any sugar in it just because my kids put like syrup and sometimes whipped cream and berries on it. So I'm like, they're already sweet enough. Yeah. So I don't add any sugar and they're still delicious. You can never have too much sugar. <laughs> so we are just gonna crack these eggs in here, okay. add the flour and milk and mix it all together. Okay. Matt, you already said she's not cracking eggs. Oh, are you going to? <laughs> can you not crack eggs? No. Welcome to adult one. I can't, I just, I don't want everything. Everyone just... judge the way Maddie cracks eggs real hard. <laughs> oh my heck, look at the counter. You got an eggshell in there too, Madison. <laughs> I'll get it out. Oh, I don't even know. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> to say that Ryan is a cook in my house is very accurate. Okay, that's all right. Wait, can we get that shawl? I got it. Oh, yeah, right. I got it. We're all good. Okay. And then we're just gonna put in a cup of flour, cup of milk, and mix this bad boy together. Do you just use the KitchenAid? Yeah. So I just use my KitchenAid and I use this whisk attachment. Speaking of, for those of you who don't follow my vlog, this is my kitchen. We're at my house right now. Um, but we are going to be filming videos at Shelby and Maddie's house as well, so. Yeah. Also, if you don't have a KitchenAid, the best product, get them, get one. I think we each use ours every day. Do you want to wipe up all Maddie's egg mess? I'm like, I want Maddie wipe up Maddie's egg mess. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I use my KitchenAid close to, not every day, but at least a once a week for me. Well, and for things like not just baking, we have always used it because our mom did this to shred meat. Like if you're having like shredded chicken or pork. like pulled pork, anything yeah. like this is the best thing ever. And they have different brands, not just KitchenAid. We just have Love all been our kitchen. simple kitchen looks up. Gadget. Gadget. <laughs> Yeah. This was a tradition that our family started doing after Cody and I got married. But they started, like, our aunts and uncles and grandparents started giving a KitchenAid as a wedding gift to all yes. the grandkids. So you guys did. got them as wedding gifts. Yes. Cody and I awesome. got ours on Black Friday because it was on sale one year. Worth the investment. Totally. We Worth love them. Best. But I would suggest, like, wait for a sale. Like, yeah. Black Friday because you save so much money. <laughs> but they're, like, a high-quality item, you know, to always have. How long do you mix this? Just until it's smooth. No clumps. No clumps. Oh. Check it out. <laughs> okay. So you do want to watch it because if you let it go too long, it'll start to brown and cook the butter. So you just wait till it's preheated and the butter's all melted. And then you're just gonna pour that mixture right in the middle. Like so. Ooh. I'm so excited. And you don't have to grease your pan at all because of the butter and you pour it in the middle so it pushes the butter up the sides. That's that, and then you put it in the oven. I usually bake mine for about 20, 25 minutes and you'll be able to tell when they're done because the sides curl up and they become golden brown. It's so yummy. So, so yum. You wanna open the oven? Yes. Ooh. Okay, so real quick to recap. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees, put a fourth cup of butter in there to melt as it preheats. <laughs> then you just mix 
six eggs, cup of flour, and a cup of milk. Pour that mixture in there when the butter's melted and bake it. Super, super easy. Like I said, there's other recipes that have like sugar and vanilla in the actual batter recipe, but I keep the sugar out because my kids put plenty of sugar on top when we eat them. So super easy. We're just gonna wait for it to bake and then we'll show you what we put on top once they're done. I need them. Yes, scarf them up because we're hungry. <laughs> yeah. Always. Leo. Hi, buddy. What are you doing? Hi. What? Oh. Hi. What? Tell me. Alrighty, we can smell them. They are done and it smells delicious. So smells we're gonna so pull good. them out of the oven real quick. I'm so hungry. Oh, oh yeah, guys. Yes. Oh. How have I never had these? You've never had no. these? And she makes oh. them literally all the time. All the time. I make these at least weekly, I think. Oh, they're so good. I feel like they're super easy for the kids before school. Oh yeah. So easy. It's something you can have in the oven while you're getting the kids ready. Pull them out. Mm -hmm. Let's see. We're gonna get toppings ready. like to put berries in whipped cream and syrup. We do have blueberries and raspberries. Yeah, and whipped cream. Possibilities are endless. Whatever you want on so there. So good. I do have ready whip. Easy, quick, ready. So quick and easy, you guys. <laughs> okay, start loading them up. Mm. I don't know. I don't know. Take a bite, tell me what you think of it. Wait, why did you all take a bite of that? You need to make this too. Life changed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. So good, you guys. So yummy. So, so good. Okay, bye. <laughs> um, if you guys try this recipe, let us know in the comments. Let us know if you like it. Different toppings that you put on them, if you've had them before, if your recipe is a little bit different, let us know. I feel like you could also do like savory stuff on top. Totally. Oh yeah. Like eggs and sausage with totally. like hot sauce. Make a casserole. 100%. Yeah. But thank you guys so much for watching. We love you and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Maybe can we say bye because I'm literally <laughs> Stay. <laughs> Literally, you're like, thanks for watching, and they're both smiling, and I'm like, <laughs> that is way too much whipped cream. <laughs> I want it to be like our Christmas breakfast, but I need an oven first. <laughs> Maybe I'll have this be my Christmas breakfast today. The cat. I'm gonna buy your sweater. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna buy your sweater. <laughs> what is happening? This is what happened when we were kids and we would try to say a prayer before dinner. <laughs> and dad, dad would get so, so mad. mad when we would run out of the room. <laughs> and he locked us out for like an hour. I mean, the camera. <laughs> I've been eating this. Whole time. <laughs> Hang on, can I just sit here, okay?
Yeah. And just wait One of my last videos, my freaking ear was showing all the time. You need to warn a girl because you know. Okay. Three years, but we were in that. Oh, add it to your super row. Real. Real. What's it called? Real. 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 How do you say mountains? Mountains. I guess I could have asked. I just wanted to push that over. Best part about cooking in the kitchen? You can break for a second. You have to eat it. Oh, you can't. You'll shrink your ball sack. Yeah, that looks weird. Let's not do that. Bye bye. Oh, that was a mistake.